Hello and welcome. But I'll listen first to this awesome music. Ah. Ha ha ha. Mars, the planets by Gustav Holst. Awesome, isn't it? Yes. Star Baron. The development, Tim McCormick. Art, Kyle Durand. Copyright 2008. www.alienprocess.com is not where I'm playing. This is actually at www.newgrounds.com slash portal slash view slash 470088. Let's figure out how we play this game. For first, let me just tell you uh, the reason I'm playing it. Well, it's by Luke. I mean, not by Lucas Pacha. Obviously, it's by Tim McCormick. But I came here because of Lucas Pacha because it's one of his favorite games on his New Grounds account. And uh, well, since his games are so good, I thought his choices would be good. And so far, I have been right in assuming that. So let's. Check this out, tutorial. Aw, oh, she caught up the music. Oh man. Oh gosh. This is one of your star systems. Click to continue. Okay. The blue background cloud shows the star's growing efficiency. The bigger the star, the bigger the output. Okay. I would should think that the bigger the star, the closer the system is to going bye-bye due to a supernova. But whatever. There's a defense satellite orbiting your star. They are tougher than ships. Not only are they tough, but they can shoot down masses of ships if they try to fly over the top. Alright, so defense satellite equals good. In fact, it equals gooder than ships. Got it. Triangles are ships. These are used to take over enemy stars. Okay. So. Um, but the problem is that they're not as tough as the fence satellites. So we need a lot more of them. Am I right or am I left? Each star contributes to your economy. And your economy limits the number of ships you can own. Okay, lack of economy. Like, lack of money. Okay. Hint. Take out an enemy's economy, and he can no longer support his fleet of ships. So basically, make his stars all go supernova, and he's dead. Okay. Simple enough. Select stars at the left mouth button, or drag a box around them to select multiple stars. Left-click the enemy to start to attack. So this is basically like, um... A little modification for uh, Civilization IV that I used to love playing. What was it called? Um, oh, yes. It was part of the Beyond the Sword pack. What was it? Final Frontier. It's awesome. It's, um, <clears throat> of course, not exactly like this, but, you know, it's kind of the same deal. It's a strategy game. My favorite. I excel at that. Not my favorite. It's just I excel at it. So, yeah. Deselect all stars with space. Select all stars with Control A. Don't you mean Command A? I have a Mac. Or maybe you mean Control A, because that would work better with the game. Okay. Sure. Space. All right. Continue. To select all stars of a particular type. Standard equals Control S. Naval. Control N. Economic. Control E. Defense. Control D. Mind layer. Control M. Okay. That's kind of complicated. I'm not sure I can figure it out. Snedum? Uh, wow. It's just so random. It's it's not like they could have just made it easy by having the letter be the beginning of the word. Oh, wait. This is a standard star. But you can specialize it by hitting... One of the buttons on the top right. Like this one? Or, oh, no, that's specialize it to standard star to be standard. I'm guessing not, huh? Hover over each button to get more details. Defense. The defense star is a formidable structure. It produces only defense boats which orbit the star. Defense boats are incredibly effective against enemy ships and will not only rip enemy attacks apart, but will also destroy enemy fleets to fly through their space. So basically, 
defense satellites, but a lot better. Is that what I'm getting from this? Economic. The economic star produces only economy, but it does so at a high output. It's what you want within your lines, like way, way inside, I would think. A high economy means that your empire can support more ships, i.e. higher max ships. They have no defenses themselves, so keep them well back from the front line. Yeah, that's my idea. And keep these, well, on the front line, I should think. We'll, go, we'll do a strategy known in risk as turtling. It works really well there, and in this game it'll probably work even better. Naval. The naval star produces only ships, and produces them fast. As it is relatively undefended, it is wise not to leave them too exposed to attack from the enemy. Waypoints can be set by dragging star to desired destination. Okay. So we, we need so we need this and this and nothing else and then we win. Right? Or maybe this defended, but you know, we'll be rolling the enemies back so fast we won't even need to defend. The best of defense is good offense, right? As they say, yes, they do say that and they are correct. I think. Mine. The mine layer star produces a huge minefield in space. Anything moving in its radius will be attacked. That includes enemy and friendly ships and defense boats alike. Can be used to create no fly zones. Use with caution. Okay, so basically mm, that one. Won't be very careful about. What is the, what is the defense? What is the standard default? It grows to full efficiently quick, quickly. It produces economy, defenses, and ships. It is an excellent all rounder. Okay, so basically I'm never going to leave that uh, any star standard because that's all rounded. Pfft, well rounded. Ah, oh, come on, only that. The rocket base has long-range offense car paper loyalties, poses a considerable threat to a well-thought-out offensive line, and is a potent weapon in any commander's arsenal. Will ta -ba 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 will target any enemy in range, or can be given a target by dragging star to target. Dragging star to the target. Uh, how m that may s that must be one extreme tractor beam, huh? Wow. Fighter. The fighter base is an excellent component of any defensive line. It produces high-speed fighters, which automatically patrol their sector, holstering the defensive stars under attack from enemy battleships, or retaking stars already overpowered by the enemy. Fighters are extremely effective against battleships, but utterly ineffective against defense satellites. Okay, so the fighter. Good for attacking battleships. Good for attacking battleships out in the field, but not against defend not for defending all right good to know well that's gonna end this episode it's just the introduction someone's ringing my doorbell anyway so thanks for watching goodbye